Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 3, Chapter 23, Text 3, Translation and Commentary by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Translation Working sanely and diligently, she pleased her very powerful husband, giving up all lust, pride, envy, greed, sinful activities, and vanity. Purport. Here are some of the qualities of a great husband's great wife. Kadamuni is great by spiritual qualification. Such a husband is called Tejiang Sam, most powerful. Although a wife may be equal to her husband in advancement in spiritual consciousness, she should not be vainly proud. Sometimes it happens that a wife comes from a very rich family, as did David Huti, the daughter of Emperor Swayambhuva Manu. She could have been very proud of her parentage, but that is forbidden. The wife should not be proud of her parental position. She must always be submissive to the husband and must give up all vanity. As soon as the wife becomes proud of her parentage, her pride causes great misunderstanding between the husband and the wife, and their nuptial life is ruined. Devahuti was very careful about that, and therefore it is said here that she gave up pride completely. Devahuti was not unfaithful. The most sinful activity for a wife is to accept another husband or another lover. Chanakya Pandit has described four kinds of enemies at home. If the father is in debt, he is considered to be an enemy. If the mother has selected another husband in the presence of her grown-up children, she is considered to be an enemy. If a wife does not live well with her husband that deals, but deals very roughly, then she is an enemy. And if the son is a fool, he is also an enemy. In family life, father, mother, wife and children are assets. But if the wife or mother accepts another husband in the presence of her husband or son, then according to Vedic civilization, she is considered an, an enemy. A chaste and faithful woman must not practice adultery. That is a greatly sinful act.